VTOL, we really are a physical distributor of oil and we do hedge uh, all the oil we have. So to a certain extent, we're not tremendously affected because it doesn't matter if the price is X or Y, we'll still be doing the same sort of thing of trying to efficiently distribute the oil. But inevitably, um, obviously our counterparties and our relationships with our counterparties do change in the changing price scenario. Inevitably, when the price falls, um, certain counterparties, i.e. primarily producers, suppliers, can get under a little bit more financial stress, a little bit more pressure. So we have to be, you know, obviously watchful and, and, uh, and try and be helpful to them. But obviously that is the major challenge, is, is in our relationship with our counterparties. Um, and obviously we spend a lot of time working with them and making sure that they're hopefully in as best shape as possible uh, to, to deal with the lower price. And we've certainly seen a strong rebound in demand in the first half of this year. Um, which I think is one of the reasons why the oil market has come back a little bit um, in the sense that both demand is strong and also supply is slightly weaker. Obviously, it's, it's no secret the number of rigs in the U.S. Have, uh, have fallen dramatically and that's beginning to have an effect on U.S. production. I think we probably feel that, that the market's getting a bit comfortable now or balanced where it is and therefore if you have to put a uh, a gun to my head, I'd probably say that we'd be, we, we, we would stay around about the same sort of level for the rest of the year. We have a small uh, upstream uh, division, so obviously we've been looking very hard at costs in that area. Inevitably, to make uh, drilling uh, profitable again, you need to bring down your costs uh, to compensate for the price, the fall in the price of oil. So that's sort of thing, one area that you have to look at. I mean, obviously, secondly, um, I think it's fair to say that all the oil majors have been cutting their capital expenditure programs, and therefore there are possibly assets that may, they, wish, they, wish to, they may wish to sell and, and we may wish to, to buy. Um, obviously, we've been buying a little bit more of downstream assets to complement the trading system that we have. I think it's a combination of the, the business changing a little bit um, and also a, you know, pretty relentless focus on costs, particularly in the upstream sector.